Hey guys, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion. Today I have a really fun photo craft to share with you. I'm gonna show you how you can create these really cute photo pendants using dimensional magic and Mod Podge. Now these are really fun for Mother's Day or any gift giving holiday. You can take any photo that you want and turn it into a necklace or a keychain like this. And the trick to this is that you're going to take your photos, you're not gonna be working with a real photo, and you're going to color copy it. So make sure you're using a color copy for this project and not a real photograph. This is really easy to do. It's really basically just two steps. So let's just dive right in and create these cute pendants. I'm starting with a one inch pendant blank that has a bail attached to it. And I shrunk my images down to fit into the one inch circle shape. I'm using a one inch circle punch just to punch that shape out. Of course, you could use scissors and cut one as well. I'm using Mod Podge Matte, Dimensional Magic, the bail, the toothpick, and a paintbrush. Go ahead and protect your work surface. I just like to use some wax paper from the dollar store. And again, I'm using Mod Podge Matte to glue down our picture. We're gonna glue it by just adding some of the matte Mod Podge to the back of the image. You just need a nice thin coat, and then we'll place that right into the pendant. Now this pendant has a little well along the edge, and you do wanna make sure that your picture is lined up with the bail at the top. And press along that edge, and then we're going to give it a light top coat of a little bit more Mod Podge. It's very important that this dries for about three hours before you move on to the next step, or else your dimensional magic could crack or make a crackle finish. So make sure you let this thoroughly dry for at least three hours before you do the next step. I'm using dried beans to balance my pendant in for doing the dimensional magic step. You wanna make sure that your pendant is very level and because it has a bail, it won't lay flat on a table. Now go ahead and mix your dimensional magic just by rolling it. You don't wanna shake it to create more air bubbles. And go ahead and start that off on a little piece of paper just to make sure you get out any air that could be in the top. Then you're gonna go around the outer edge and just work in a slow motion, filling in the entire pendant. So you can see I went around the edge and then I'm just filling in the center. Now you can use a toothpick here to pop any air bubbles that you may get and check back after about 20 minutes to see if any air bubbles have formed. It's very important that this rests overnight for 24 hours undisturbed in a non-drafty location in order for you to get a clear glass-like finish. After 24 hours, you're ready to add some chains to your pendants to create your necklaces. For the keychain, it's basically the same steps. I used a keychain blank and I used matte Mod Podge to attach the color copy of my photo to the keychain. I added a glossy finish by using a paintbrush to apply the dimensional magic as a very shiny top coat. I love Dimensional Magic. I hope that you're gonna love it as much as I do. No mixing, no resin, and kid-friendly. Look at that really cool glass-like finish that you get on your pendants. Now, I'm using family photos for these, but you could really use any paper that you want. Thanks so much for being with me today. I'll be back next week with another fun project to share with you. And until then, keep crafty.